What's up guys, Rotos up here, and today we have got ourselves a new video on the fire. We've got some new gear, a new stitch. I think I actually really like this stitch. I don't see anyone stitching like this. I think it's kind of lit. Um, so yeah, no, we've got a lot of new things going on here. Uh, so we have 44 accuracy, 43 resist, which is a little on the low side, I'm not going to lie. Uh, 167 damage, that's, that's pretty freaking high. Uh, 52 critical rate, not too shabby, and uh, 37 armor pierce. And then just about near perfect power pip chance, as well as a very, very high 70% power pip conversion chance. Um, and then as far as the deck setup goes, uh, this is it. We just have a lot of fire elves, a couple Krampuses, and some bubbles. Actually, you know, I'm looking at this right now. I'm going to up the bubble count because against ice, uh, you really want to win that bubble war. So pretty small deck, pretty basic. Uh, we have most of our stuff here that's like utility in the front. And then we've got our firepower, so to speak, in the back. So yeah. <laughs> um, but we're going to get into our first match here. If you guys are wondering what gear I'm using, uh, it's the Dragoon's Hat, the Robo Masters. I, this is just for critical rate. Um, you could very, very, very well be using the turquoise eagles arraignment in fact that is you know that's something i've played with on this character before but i like the high critical or the higher critical i should say that this gives us so i'm gonna keep rocking with that for a while and then we've got the dragoon's boots wand dragoon's dagger um shane amulet and then the level 100 duelist daredevil now of course i'm looking to replace this pet not because I don't like the stats. The stats are fine, but now that Fire Beetle is banned from PvP, I'm looking to get a Fire Beetle pet or uh, maybe a, actually probably more optimally, a Velociraptor pet or a spooky, spooky puppet thing, a Scarionette. I think that's what it's called is a Scarionette. So um, yeah, I'm looking to upgrade pet wise just for the species of pet, but outside of that, these stats are pretty complete, and yeah, we'll, we'll just get into our first game for the day. All right, guys, so we got our very first match of the day going up against Adam Singer, who is also a fire wizard, it looks like, with the scary net pet that I was talking about in the intro. Really do wish I had that pet. Um, oh, he was watching my hit points. So, yeah, I mean, here... I think the first thing that we definitely don't need wildfire. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is probably stun block because I do not. Do, no, we don't let other fire wizards use king art on us. That is no. Uh, so we do get the first turn shadow pip. So that's a little broken. And if you guys notice there, I dumped my hand almost completely. And if you're going second when you do that, you can actually get a brand new hand and that only happens on the first turn and oh my god we got another one jeez <laughs> um okay so it looks like his scary net here is going to use fuel i'm fine with that uh yeah i think we're just gonna do I want to start? No, I don't want to draw for any more cards. Um, I'm just going to put up the shield here and hoping for our pet to use infallible so that I can use elf. Because eh, elf is elf is good when... Okay, we're not going to... We're definitely not going to need shuffle here. Um, elf is good on its own, but it's definitely a lot better when... Uh, wait, I just realized he has like no health. Um, but no, anyway, I, I just kind of went on a tangent there. Elf is a lot better if uh, you've got the infallible to back it up. So I'm going to just, we'll just use an elf right now, okay? We'll just do it. Get that crit. Hell yeah. And then hopefully since we're being so offensive, our pet will reward us. Psych! He did not reward us. <laughs> he said no. Uh, so, that's not a, that's not a big deal. Uh, if our opponent doesn't shield here, I will go for the FFA. I will do it. Uh, don't tempt me. Because there's really nothing else you can do. I mean, that's doing 360 per round. That's kind of bonkers. And he's putting on a tower shield. Ah, he gets the infallible first. Okay. Not a huge problema. 
not a huge problem here. It does. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> it does make me not. See, it makes me not even want to use any pips. Um. I guess I could just tower and make him think that these aren't set shields. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that's gonna do for me. Um, our pet has still not given us that thick, juicy infallible. So, that's a problem. But we did get, like, two shads off the bat, so it's kind of broke. And then we got the e freak that I was pulling for, uh, so that's nice. He can't just keep shielding, though, and I think he is going to keep shielding. But he can't do that. You you can't do that, Adam. You know, your, your war crimes will catch up with you, mister. I think we'll just get rid of that, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know. And then we'll put on another tower shield here. Uh, so now we have a double stack tower shield. So if he wants to break it, he needs an elf. Um, but here's the deal, right? As soon as he doesn't shield, he's in big trouble. Because we're going to Efreet. <laughs> we will Efreet. The second that this man doesn't shield, he's going to get an Efreet. He is going to get an Efreet faster than he's ever gotten one in his life. And if he decides to Efreet into a set shield and other thing, then he's just dumb. Uh, okay, it looks like he's putting on stun blocks now. Very important move on Adam's part. However, however, uh, we are just going to take the open fire from above here because why would we not? And next up, we can follow it with an Efreet. Again, he shouldn't Efreet here. This is not the time to Efreet. Um, but if he does decide to Efreet, that's okay because we'll still have another tower shield. Uh, it'll do no damage. And. I, I think we've got some things that we can do to take off the e free weakness. That does f did did it say five five thousand three hundred? Oh my god! We didn't even have infallible. All right, this guy is a true glass cannon. Holy crap! Like, what do you do? I used one FFA, and this man has been shut. All right, so he is going to use e free. Ah, uh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, you can you can get a critical. It's fine. Uh, just hitting into a 70% shield. That's fine. Uh, so this is going to do seven, a whopping 776 damage. Not enough. And, you know, oh, he's got two shadow pips, though. Uh, he can't... I mean, jeez, guys. I can e free him back, okay? I think we're going to do that. <laughs> I think we're going to trade Efreets here. And uh, you know why I'm trading Efreets? Because he can't do anything. Okay? He literally can't. Like, what is he going to do? I don't know. Like, this could very well do 300 damage, even with the Efreet weakness. Oh, it did 400 damage. Wow. That almost killed him. And then we have the Fire Elf for next turn. And with that... We're done. Our pet never actually used infallible, so that's kind of funny. Um, but we didn't need it. We didn't need it. All it took was one open FFA. And you guys saw exactly what happened, right? We used a fire elf. Oh my god, 900. What? Dude, this guy must have zero resistance. Anyway. So, no, we used the Fire Elf to our advantage because he kept having to shield over and over again every single turn. And then the turn he didn't shield, we hit him, it sealed the game. So, pretty good game for our first one here. I'm going to get into our second game, though, right now. Alright, so we got our second match of the day here going up against Kevin Soul Sword, who appears to be a storm of sorts. And uh, I think we should be able to take on a storm here. Um, they can be a little scary if they're hitting max bolts and whatnot, but uh, outside of that, I mean, honestly, like, Storm are pretty harmless, in my opinion, at least. Uh, we'll keep one bubble just in case he does decide to uh, go for maybe a, I don't know, whatever the Storm bubble is called. And uh, we didn't get a shield. It's not great, but we can put on a stun shield, that's for sure. And then we're definitely going to elf this guy. Please turn one. Turn one infallible. Come on, since we didn't get it. Ugh. 
We didn't get it at all last game, so I was hoping maybe. Uh, ooh, it's not the right kind of shield either. Uh, we're, we're digging too. <laughs> we're digging through this deck right now. So he's going to wild bolt us because brainless. What? What? Why does... Why? Why does this work for them? <sighs> okay. Um, okay, so we do get a storm set shield. I mean, if he's just going to be spamming wild bolt, because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you've got a stun block, buckaroo, or else we will mess you up. Uh, so, okay, he gets a shadow bit. So I'm just going to elf here. Like, dude, I don't even know what to do. We need to get a shadow pip or something. We don't even crit the elf. This is just not... This has been a terrible game so far. Um, but our pet is finally using the infallible. So that that's that's good. You know, we like that. Um, but we really need an Ifrit, okay? We really, really need an Ifrit here. That would be much appreciated. Yeah, okay. We got that guy too, so he's pretty good. Um... Oh, so he's just going to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm actually cool with that, because that's going to give us another turn to find Ifrit and... Okay, there it is. And get a Shadow Pip. So, I'm cool with that. Uh, we'll delete that. Delete the Epic. And I, I guess we'll just Glacial Shield. Um, if he does decide to go for the Insane Bolt again... It's not going to kill, I don't think. Because even like the critical last time only did 3,600. And we do get the Shadow Pip. Okay, so I've kind of routed out how we can win our game here. Uh, we just need to hit the FFA. And there it is. So our game plan here is going to just be Ifrit into an FFA. And he doesn't have a lot of health because he's Storm. So uh, that should do it. And then it looks like he is using Infallible here. Or Fortify. Interesting. So he's beefing up a little bit. Uh, honestly, because he did that, I think the more, yeah, I think I think what makes more sense here is actually to use FFA first now instead of Efreet, um, because he didn't shield or you know do anything. So yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage with the crit. Uh, and with the the shield that we have on us right now, like there's nothing that he can do to really kill us. Uh, and that's doing 4,000 damage. So even with, if he does decide to tower shield, let's say, I'll still be able to kill him. So, and we get another Shadow Pip as well. So yeah, I, I think, I mean, this at this point, the game is really over. Um, and this little elfy boy is going to do another 200 damage. And then I'm assuming he's going to shield here. Why would you not? <laughs> um, but that's honestly okay because, you know, he, he can't really do anything. And I think, yeah, Fire Shark seems pretty legit here. So I think we're going to Fire Shark and look for either an enchant for the elf or just follow up with a Scorching or something because, like, honestly... Even if he does set shield again, I don't think that it's going to like be enough for him since we have a trap on and we'll have infallible. Uh, so this should do around 500 or so, or 300. Wow. Okay. He must have some decent flat resist. And we do get another shadow pit that's a little unnecessary. Uh, I don't... We have a stun black on us and we have a set shield. So there's really nothing he can do to us. He's just kind of prolonging the inevitable here. Uh, fire dispel. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Because, again, like, we're just in a position here where he can't do anything. Uh, our infallible is up. I Oh, no, we have one more turn on it. Cool. So, yeah, you know, he can't really do anything to us. Like, because even if he insane bolts, like, then he just loses. 
Okay, sure, you can set shield, but what is that going to accomplish? Mmm. Okay, so we're in an interesting spot here. I could... I could just scorching into trying to pull the FFA. Now, normally I don't ever condone brainless shadow pip usage, but in this case, since we got the fail pip, it's just kind of setting us up for the scorching into either another scorching or into an FFA. And we didn't get the crit, so that's actually really not great. Uh, oof. Yeah, that, that's not what we wanted to see at all. So this is probably only going to do like 1,500 maybe. Or 1,100. Ooh. Gross. That's really not the damage that we wanted to see. But he only has 1,000 left. Okay, and his Fortify is going to be out. What is this? Is this killing through a set shield? I don't think so, right? I don't I don't think this kills through a set shield. Maybe did we just get Scion? Bruh. <laughs> okay. That's lit. <laughs> um we did pull the FFA here. I think we'll just use which one has more accuracy? Oh, it doesn't matter, we have perfect accuracy. Um Okay, so that was really close. <laughs> um, I was pretty convinced when he hit us with a turn two critical insane bolt that we were going to lose the game, but I guess not. I guess not. I guess we were able to pull ahead here. So if you guys enjoyed the content today, if you guys liked me dusting off the dust on the fire, getting them back out in action, uh, let me know. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Where does that out? Peace.